Hey folks, this is Red Falcon, and this is episode 2 of my Let's Play Evil Cron Mercenary. In our last episode, I went over basic flight controls, and I hope I didn't bore you to tears with um, all the uh, details, but this is... Um, the, the one thing about this game is... Hold on, let me switch to IDS and slow myself down. The one thing about this game is it's very... The, it's got a steep learning curve, but once you can get over the, the learning curve, it's a really fun game. And that's why I wanted to do this video series, just to help people overcome that hurdle. So, um, <laughs> I promise we're actually going to do some, some actual, like, gameplay now. So, um, anyway, so, um, yeah, right now we're just, um, hanging out in space. Um, IDS is engaged, and I've got, um, zero set the, uh, velocity set to zero, and I'm sitting at zero, so we're completely still right now. And, um, let's go ahead and open up, go to news console, and view that last quest text. And hold on, let me, there we go. Oh, one more thing, I, f I forgot to mention this. If you click, hit the H button, it switches between your different HUD modes. Okay, so... Um, the quest text said to go to New Hope, the trade city on New Hope, and New Hope is a planet in this system. So uh, let's pretend, for example, I've never played this before. I don't know where any of this stuff is. Um, we bring up our navigation menu. We zoom out. And I believe he said it was a planet somewhere in there. Well, anyway, you just go quest text on... Click on planets, and oh look, New Hope, right there. How about that? So we're going to click somewhere near the planet. You don't want to click on the planet, because um, if you come out of FTL in the atmosphere, you're going to burn up and die, and you're going to have a bad time. So I like to put um, my uh, uh, marker just a little bit over it. Now, the problem, is, one thing I don't like is when you try to zoom in, It'll zoom in on where your ship's located. So I, that's one of the problems I have with the navigation system. There's probably a mod out there that fixes it, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to show you vanilla, how the game works. So, all right, so we got our coordinates locked in. Close this and punch it. Oh, it's too far. See, it's too far for our, um, our jump drive. Well, what do we do? Well, there's two things we can do. Um, we can make a new point that's within jump distance of our drive and then jump there manually or another thing we can do is we can use the autopilot and I'll just click on the autopilot and what the ship's going to do is it's going to automatically make a nav point within range of our fulcrum drive and then as soon as we as soon as the energy's back up, it'll make a new point, and then we'll jump to that point. So you can actually see, here we are right here, and we were right over there. And it'll keep doing this until we reach our destination. So it's a great way to navigate. And um, there's two ways you can, well, there's actually like three ways to cancel your autopilot. You can hold down the Alt key and hit the autopilot button right there. Um, you can, oh yeah, by the way, for some reason you can't open your nav map while you're jumping. Or you can go up here and hit cancel autopilot. And there's a third option, there's like a hotkey, I forgot what the hotkey was, because I normally just click on it, so, um, if you go up in the options, you can probably find it. So, alright, so here we are, um, oh, I had the IDS on. I usually leave inertial on. Here, let me go ahead and just put my weapons and shields back at zero, zero. All right, so here we are. That's the planet of New Hope. Now, they said they wanted us to land on the planet. I want to show you a little trick. If you zoom in... Okay, let me, let me turn all these off. Okay. You see this, um, this green square right here? That's right above where the... Um, the uh, city is, the main city, the main uh, trade city. So if you put your, um, your navigation point right around there, you don't want to get too close to the planet. And you can also hit the launch button over here to engage your FTL. 
It'll put you... Whoop. Whoa, okay. Hold on. <laughs> Cut that one a little close. Okay, here we go. Okay, sorry about that. I cut that a little close. Okay, basically you want to look for um, this uh, docking indicator. And I really should have put that nav marker a little bit um, further away from the planet. Let me switch this to this mode. Now you can actually leave um, your inertial... Whoop, whoop, here we go. You can actually switch your um, your IDS off while you're entering the atmosphere. Until you start losing altitude, then you'll want to switch it back on. But if you're trying to conserve fuel, you can just leave it on. Oh, there we go. We just lost altitude. Um, what I normally do is when the ship's computer tells me that the avionics have been switched to planet mode, I usually engage my IDS and make sure you're full throttle on your IDS. And right now we're landing on the planet. And this is something I really wish um, was part of the um, the X series, because um, I I put I spent way too much of my life playing X2 the threat. And the thing I thing I missed a I think I was kind of disappointed was well first of all they didn't have like FDL drives you had to go through gates but second they had. Um, you could land on planets, but you had to like dock into a larger ship and then land. You had to land on a, with a mammoth carrier. I didn't like that too much. Um, but with this, um, you know, you can actually land on planets. I'm really excited. But you want to make sure that your speed's below 1500. And when I get close to the um, planet, I like uh, close to the dock. I like to throttle down the half. And you just hit the five key on your keyboard. And then just um, throttle down a little bit more. Oh, whoa, whoa. we don't want to throttle down too much. All right, and just let the tractor beam carry you in. Okay, now there's still some stuff on here I didn't really explain. Um, these are the items for sale. Um, items that are purple are always commodities. So you can do the buy low, sell... Oh, hold on, let me turn my engines off. Or I could have switched the IDS off. Well, I'm going to keep that on. Okay. Um, yellow, these are always going to be equipment. So, like, um, these are all things we can buy. Um, we can actually buy a, um, a longer range fulcrum drive. But uh, for right now, for the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to... Um, we're not going to get anything here. But um, green are always weapons. So everything's color-coded for you. And they're color coded for the different slots on your ship. Now let's see. If you click on available contracts, um, you can circle, th you can cycle through all the different um, jobs that are being offered right now. Um, there's always going to be a description of the job and the contract for that job. Now um, the mission ones are always going to say IMG contract. That's for the um, mercenary, mercenary guilds you're a part of. So let's see here. All right, looks like we're going to be cleaning a satellite. Yep, needs to place a satellite in orbit. You must take the satellite to a waiting... Oh, okay, I'm sorry, this is a delivery mission. Okay, simple delivery mission, no problem. Click accept. Now, I could have sworn there was a different mission last time. I. I don't know, maybe it's different. But when you're ready to uh, undock, just hit the uh, F3 Docking key. Alright, and you'll want to full throttle your IDS and point your nose up and just take these docking lights and just take it out of the atmosphere. And we can get a nice little back view of the planet. As you can see, we're ascending into the upper atmosphere. Look, you can see mountains right there and there's the uh, the star for this system Let's see what's the up view look like you can see the nebula rear view here we go yeah we were in a cloud earlier but you can actually see the whole um, the whole planet as you leave 
mean, yeah, graphically, this game's a little dated, but, you know, it's not a AAA title, so, you know, it, it's it's not gonna, you know, I, I have I have set my expectations um, appropriate for the type of game. Alright, and as soon as she says that, I go ahead and switch her into um, inertial mode and kick up the afterburners and speed up to about 1500 or 2000. And if you see that little blinking right light right in the middle of the screen, that's actually the um, the sh the um, the dock for that planet. All right, so we've been given a mission, and there's the battleship we're supposed to dock with. Here, let me adjust my heading here. Okay. There we go. And we're going to give her a little bit of forward thrust. But the nice thing about this is your ship only uses thrust when it's decelerating or altering its course. And you can go almost, I don't, well, you can go pretty fast. Okay, now for this type of mission... Um, if we look in, at our inventory, we're given a satellite. And now what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to get our ship within that green square. Right, oops, right there. Oops. This is one problem about switching between mouse pointing and mouse control is sometimes it freaks out a little bit. All right. And we're, as you can see, I'm adjusting my ship's heading ever so slightly. All right, let's give her a little more juice here. And it's all about making, um, for maneuvers like this, it's all about making small corrections. Just like flying a real aircraft or a flight simulator of an aircraft. Okay, now I'm going to throttle down a little bit here. All right. And... There is a key for jettison cargo, but I like to just use this. So you wait until you're completely in the box and you Contract left click. Accomplished. Mission complete. All right, now if you look here, hold on a second. All right, uh, ability to do something easy, blah, blah, blah. Um, we've arranged for another pilot to meet up with you near the station in orbit around New Hope. Dock there and accept the contract to race this pilot. Okay, so we have a race next. I don't like races, personally, but um, this tutorial is um, showing us all the different um, mission types. All right, so space station around New Hope. So if we bring up our menu, or, um, our map, I believe it's, yep, the starport, starport 10. And we're gonna position ourselves, actually let's position ourselves right here and then do a rear view. And we're gonna put ourselves right here. Let's put ourselves right there. That looks like a good place. All right, F1 to close it. F2 to engage the um, FTL. Kind of looks like the um, the time tunnel from the old Doctor Who series. Eh, not so much the new one. All right, there's our station. What we're gonna do is we're gonna dock with it. So I'm gonna speed up to about a uh, thousand. And you can use your afterburner too, but um, I feel that uses more fuel that's necessary, so I just use the um, inertial forward and reverse thrusters. And I covered that. It's 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 in the control somewhere. You'll you'll find it. <laughs> Actually, hold on. Since I didn't find it before. Um. I know what I'm looking for now. Ah, here we go. Yeah, um, second page. Uh, inertial reverse, inertial forward. 
so that'll help you out. And it looks like the docking ring is right there. And I actually like to... It doesn't matter your orientation, really, but I like to move my orientation like that. And I'm applying some downward thrust. And then I'm slowly coming up. You'll see that the... Um, the um, vertical and horizontal thrust indicator is right there above the ring. And it's not right now, it's in the larger ring. Now let's apply some forward thrust here. Alright, moving in a little closer. And we got a good heading on the docking ring. And you'll just float right in there. And I don't know if you noticed, I had like 308 fuel earlier, and now I'm sitting at 305, so I didn't use a lot of fuel on that maneuver. And it just takes some practice. You'll get the hang of it. Just keep practicing. And try not to hit things. Okay, so we're docked. Docking tractor being engaged. Thank you. All right, and we want to go to available contracts. And we've been challenged by race to another. Yeah, all right, accept. Accept the contract, and you can only have one contract available at once. I don't think I mentioned that earlier. Oh, and something very important. You'll want to save. Often. Um, actually, select profile and save. We want to make sure, yeah, Keth is selected. I don't want to overwrite my other character. Now, unlike the X series, if any of you have played those games, um, you don't have to buy, like, um, salvage insurance or anything to um, save in space. You can actually save in space whenever. Alright, so we were given a... Oh, and when you accept the mission, they'll automatically give you a, um, a nav point. So we're going to go ahead and just... Um, Hit F2 here. Okay, hold on a second. Did I forget to accept it? No, there it is. Um, try to avoid bumping into each other. Okay, hold on a second. Did I forget something here? Okay, no, there he is. Oh, okay, so he... Okay, well, I have to actually set my coordinate for him. Most of the time they give you a coordinate. I guess races are a little different. Okay. Alright, let's kick on the IDS and slow ourselves down here. Now you'll notice these um, green rings. Um, that's actually your racetrack. And <laughs> I'm really not good at these, so I, there's a chance I might actually, um, let me save right here. There's a chance I might actually fail horribly at this, so, you know, I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I don't like the racing system in this game. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to, right now I'm just kind of strafing around here. All right, and we don't want to enter the ring just yet. We want to actually get a really good um, heading before we head out. All right, and then full throttle. Let's do this thing. Okay, I don't know what that was. I think you might have been hitting my shields. All right, and if you look in the... Um, whoa, oh, oh God, oh God, no, no. Even with the IDS, like, the ship's having a hard time compensating. That's why you gotta really watch your speed. But if you look in the, um... Le to the left of the heads-up display, right by, um, shields... The shield indicator, it'll show you my progress versus his progress. And, wow, I'm actually not doing too bad. I'm surprised, actually. 
I failed at this like five times when I first started playing this game. But this is a good exercise in controlling your ship. And I'm just kind of like, um, I'm using a ton of fuel right now, but I don't care, it's a race. And I'm just kind of like tapping the, the thruster. Just tapping the thruster. Now you don't want to overdo it because your um, IDS will have a hard time compensating. Well, I'm like 30 ahead of him, so I can actually chill out a little bit. <laughs> I'm like 20 ahead of them. Let's continue our lead here. Oh, this is straight away, so we can actually get a little speed here. All right. And it's all about getting the hang of your ship. That's all it is. You just got to get used to your ship. I actually fly a, um, a heavier ship in my real game. So this is, um, this is like a hot rod compared to what I'm used to. <laughs> Alright, and then this lighter green is the finish line. Alright, we did good. Okay, I'm going to switch, turn the IDS off for now, I'm just going to float. Alright, so what's next? Um, all right, uh, travel nearby planet, Arado, and dock at the station in the close orbit. Okay. All right, and what planet is that? Well, let's see. Let's switch on the... All right now it's on planets. Okay, and there's our planet. So we're going to put our destination right there, and we're just going to autopilot over there because I doubt my fulcrum drive can take me there. Oh, and go ahead... Right before you jump, just throw all your energy to uh, weapons. You'll see what I mean. See how fast the energy's replenishing? Now, let me set it to zero. See, it recharges a little slower. We're just gonna let the autopilot just take us there. Oh, and there's a little bit of a graphical tear there, but it's all good. BSC, yeah, it's recharging a lot slower right there. So that's why you want to keep your... Um, actually, let's do another experiment. Let's make it negative five and see how slow that thing charges. Yeah, see what negative five energy weapon does? Even zero is better than that, see? And then if you max it out to five, there you go. So, that's another tip. If you're gonna jump, if you're gonna be making a lot of jumps, go ahead and throw all your energy to weapons. Because your weapons and your um, FTL use the same, um, let me cancel the autopilot here. Whoops, cancel, okay. Oh, I accidentally hit the launch button, it's all good. Autopilot's disengaged, okay. And there's that planet they were talking about earlier. All right, let's see. Let's get a closer view here. Okay, and this must be the s that station. Ah, there's the station, that little blue thing right there. And I'm gonna switch to rear view just so we kinda, we're not gonna land in the station when we launch, all right. Hit the FTL. All right. And there's our station. Right there. Okay. Give her some thrust. I kind of miss, um, I wish this game had an auto docking feature, like in the X series, um, you could, um, you used your autopilot for everything, honestly, but I don't know, it's, it's kind of a mixed bag with me, because I kind of like doing these, like, maneuvers to get my ship to land on these, um, stations, 
So I don't know. I don't think a computer would really... I don't know. I don't think it would be as efficient as me. It's like that episode of um, TNG where um, the Enterprise is like in an... I think it was like an asteroid field that was draining the ship's energy and they had to um, like divert all the power they had into pushing the ship forward and they only had like navigational thrusters to like rotate the ship and everything and Picard had to um, maneuver the ship through an asteroid field. It's kind of like that. Flying on one propeller. Alright. Yeah, we're just gonna... We're just gonna make small corrections. And there we go. Put that little blue box right on our um, targeting reticle and just, just give a little more thrust here. And there you go. Alright. Okay, I think I'm going to end the video right here. Thank you for watching. If you found my video um, entertaining or informative or you just liked it, please click the like button. Um, if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. 